making this video as an attempt to possibly help some people that maybe are, are going through some uh, things that I went through. Um, I have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, so um, I've suffered a lot of uh, swelling and joint pain, and I, um, especially my wrists and arms. So uh, my, I was having a lot of wrist pain and arm pain. So I went to see an orthopedic surgeon and rather than doing steroids or surgery, uh, first he showed me a simple stretch to do and he wanted me to do that for about a month and then come back and tell me to know how it's going and if it helped or not. Well, it did help tremendously and I didn't need steroids or surgery, steroid injections or surgery. So um, I thought that I would just share that and hopefully it could uh, maybe help with someone else who has the same pain that I had because uh, wrist pain wrist pain sucks pretty bad. So, but um, I'll turn around so you can see a little better. Um, now it might just be me being kind of dumb, but it took me a few minutes to remember. Um, so I'll do it a few times. But what you do is you want your hand pointing towards you um, like this, and then you take your fingers. Uh, just these three fingers and you want to press down not on your finger but on the joint right behind your index finger so you want to point your hand towards yourself and then press press down just a little bit not too much but apply some pressure and then you want to keep this hand straight and don't uh, not move it with it but um, then you just want to turn that hand while keeping this one in place and keep the pressure down on it and then slowly move your hand outwards and um, you should feel a pretty good stretch right here um, or that, that's where I felt it uh, it was right there and uh, just make sure you keep some pressure on that or else the stretch won't work um, and you can go uh, side to side either side this one seems to stretch more for me but uh and you may have some wrist pain a little bit too you shouldn't have too much but uh it did where i had some swelling there and uh so i'll do it one more time okay so your hand like this and then these fingers just press down and keep the pressure while you twist it and then stretch outwards and you can go either way. Um, do it slowly at first uh, because it can it can hurt quite a bit when uh, the surgeon did it. He did it for me uh, like seven or eight times, and um, for about ten minutes, and it hurt uh, a lot uh, the first few times he did it. I mean, I was I was I was almost in tears probably, but um, it's it's normal for it to stretch here now if you have too much like wrist pain i don't know about that i'm not a doctor so i would wouldn't st i would stop if it hurts way too much but it is going to stretch a lot um if you're anything like me so and you do that with both arms um and he told me to do it a couple times a day um every day for a couple weeks and then i came back and but um, after the pain went away, I stopped doing it, and uh, it came back, so not as bad, but the pain started to come back, and then when I started doing the stretches again, it went away. So I recommend doing them several times a day, every day, even put a timer on your phone or something to remind you. Um, at least try to do it like twice a day or something, because it's, it's easy and you can do it anywhere. Um, so I just do that a few times a day for a couple weeks and uh, just be consistent about it. And, uh, you know, if you have similar problems to me, it might help, uh, might, might not. But I just thought I'd share that in case, you know, anyone would like to give it a try. So hope it helps.